Hello everyone once again. So as I promised here we have another live stream and it would be a bit uh, strange not to show you something interesting. So here is something interesting. We have new release from Brand Gun which is modded in 148 scale and it copies famous RQ7B Shadow UAV. It's a resin and PE construction kit. As you can see, box size is really small, so you can guess the size of the model. And for me, it makes this kit even more interesting because even though this is a 148 scale kit, it should be tiny while finished. And we have a commercial sample, so it means you will get exactly the same kit. So let's open it and take a closer look inside. So first of all, it's already available for purchase on official Brand Gun website, as far as I know. And now I'm just going to, I think I need to cut through this sticker and we will be good to go. Why we are having the uh, three live streams only today? Because tomorrow we have the uh, Pilsen model show. So I should prepare all the stuff for the model show. It means the camera, the flash and other things. But I think I will be able to do the live stream from the show as well. So stay tuned. It will be uh, done, I hope. If it won't be done, it will be uh, uploaded as a normal video. So either way, you will be able to see what we have on the exhibition. Here you can see what we have in the kit. So first of all, this plastic bag with PE parts. Then we have resin parts. And also we have assembly manual and I can guess that there will be also decal sheet or maybe it is packed together with P thread as you can see. But we are going to start with resin of course because those are the uh, most let's say notable part here. Let's zoom even closer because otherwise you won't be able to see a thing here. Let's say it politely. So let's open it. It's a ziplock bag which is quite easy to open and I can see that parts mount is not that huge. Well maybe it looks odd at the first sight but when you take all those parts it's like oh my god be ready for this okay so first of all we have here the tail part and as you can see camera tries to focus now it should be visible uh, this section the tail section it is molded as one piece part so you won't have to deal with separate pieces and it's really cool because as you can see size is not that huge so basically you get the right fitment out of the box. Okay, we place this part aside here so that you can see it. Next, we continue with wings. Wings are molded as one piece parts as well because they're also small. Despite the 148 scale, as you can see, they're really thin. And of course we have all the flaps and other stuff pre-molded here. So you won't have to do anything, just place them on the model and you will be good to go. One thing or from one point of view it's really nice, from another maybe some professionals will be uh, not happy about having everything molded in, but I think it's not such a great problem to cut off some elements and position them as you need. So once again I flip over this part, here you can see it from another side. Okay, so I place it here, maybe here so that you can see it in the background. Next thing, the quite interesting thing is the um, minor elements and as you can see this resin base with minor elements I will try to position. Hi Rodrigo, nice to see you from Argen Argentina, it's really great that you are joining. Thank you for the first like by the way, if you are seeing that I am showing the like. So here we have the small parts for this kit. Uh, it means the one piece main legs for the landing gear. I think they are here. Then we have the propeller which is molded as one piece and it is really tiny. I can bring it even closer because otherwise you won't be able to see it. So just give me a second to find where the camera is. Now we should be able to see it. So here we are. And also here we have the landing gear legs. We have also separate landing gear wheels. And also the separate nose landing gear leg which is molded together with wheels. So all this stuff will have to be molded. I'm a bit confused why we have the separate landing gear wheels here. Uh, while the main legs also have the pre-molded landing gear wheels. We will have to check assembly manual definitely. 
next here we have various external things which will have to be attached on the model so as you can see they are molded as one piece parts camera tries to focus now now you should be able to see them so there are three parts three different parts frankly speaking i'm not sure where they will be applied so if you have an idea write it in the comments or we'll see it in assembly manual okay you place it here and then the next thing is this stuff so as you remember tail section is a quite tricky thing on the shadow so here we have the nose section or nose area which is molded as one piece part i can flip it over here you can see it from another side um, of course this turret is molded separately and then we have these bars which are actually connecting the tail section together with the nose section so you will have to align this stuff and believe me it will be quite a funny task to do and you have to be ready for this because otherwise it won't be an easy thing to do let's say okay so these were the parts the resin parts and next as you remember we have the a uh, small plastic bag with decals and P thread. Here it is. I'm just going to use the debonder because otherwise it will be a bit tricky to open this paper clip or the staple. So just give me a second. Um, I always recommend to use this stuff because otherwise you might damage the fingers, your fingers, and it's not such a nice stuff to do. Thank you for the second like, by the way. Thank you for watching. And if you, uh, can write what weather is in your city i will be happy to know because here it is quite crazy it is hot even though august is already ending usually in prague it's not that hot in the end of august if my memory is not wrong okay so first of all we have here the decals sheet and as you can see we have also the attack hobby logo we have various stencils and the aircraft numbers which will have to be applied on the model obviously they are not huge and you can see it in comparison with my fingers so be ready for this but printing quality seems to be nice so i hope it will be easy to apply them on the model okay so that was the decals sheet and then we also have the tiny p thread and that's the thing which you should be concerned about uh, without any jokes because these parts are really tiny and you have to apply them all on the model and it will be a bit tricky if you don't have experience with these parts I mean you have to have because otherwise it won't be possible to place for example these thin elements on the model and they definitely influence on the detailing of the model so I mean there is no other way but if you are brave enough to start resin kit I think you should be ready for such uh, tiny PE parts Next, I will put aside all those resin pieces because we have here the uh, assembly manual, obviously. So just give me a second. Here it is. It is printed in form of black and white brochure. And surprisingly for brand gun, I will show it in a second. Here you can see it. So surprisingly for brand gun, on the first page we have the short history note about this aircraft. So if you don't know anything about the shadow, it will be interesting to read. But of course, I suggest to find some reference book as well. Next, we have inside the parts map here. Also the legend for the various signs used in this manual. Everything starts with attaching wings to the fuselage. Then we continue with engine position and here you can see the left side view so that you will be able to position it in a proper state here. As you remember it is placed in the tail of this aircraft so just to remind you. Here we install the bars on the wings and also we connect the tail section and also here the turret is attached on the nose section. Next we continue with the choice of various propellers. And as you can see, one employs the P parts and another one is fully resin. And now I'm a bit confused where is another propeller because I do not see. Maybe that's the whole P version of the propeller because as you remember we had it here on the P thread. So it will be up to you if you would like to use this P part or this resin part. But all those parts should look good so I think it won't be such a huge problem to decide. Then here you can see the right alignment of the main winding gear OX. There are quite thin resin parts, so I think it will be a bit tricky to uh, get them into the place. Next, we install various PE parts into the wings. 
and then the last stage involves the camouflage as you can see it is printed in black and white that's why i was recommending getting some reference book because otherwise it will be a really tricky stuff to get the right paint work on this aircraft and also here we have the decals application guide so that you know where to apply all the symbols so as i said this kit should be already available for purchase um, in brand gun official website for sure or maybe in some good model shop if you don't have uh, a chance to order it online and of course i will be happy to hear your opinion about this kit write it here in the comment section below if you like this video don't forget to press the like button because it will help us greatly and also you can subscribe to our youtube channel by pressing the button somewhere here it will also help us and you will be notified about any fresh new video reviews and i would like to thank you for watching thank you for joining us today and we will see each other tomorrow enjoy your friday and bye